the aspect ratio is 18 by 9, not 16 by 9. You can tell that apps are taking a while. It is taking forever to load. It's a race against time, my friends. Oh, the $20 phone's going to win. Yep, $20 phone's going to win. Got a quarter, quarter of the way there. Come on, it stopped at the end. Who's going to be first? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Am I going to beat it? <laughs> my iPhone beat it. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe that. that. And it's still loading while I'm playing. Here we go. Okay. What's up, my punk meows? Andy, Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys more content. And this is my comparison video. I don't usually ever do these, but I thought since, you know, I had a huge, expensive, crazily overpriced phone, I thought I'd compare it with the most inexpensive phone that I could find on the market on Amazon. This was at the time of release, 1999. It was half off. And uh, this was full price for over $1,300. So today we're gonna be comparing the two. This is the Motorola Moto E6, and this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is the 256 gigabyte version. So let's go ahead and jump cut to where I unbox it to see what you guys get in the box for this $20 device. This is the Motorola Moto E6 LTE prepaid through Total Wireless that I think is incredible. This is crazy. This was on sale during Black Friday and Cyber Monday, and I picked it up and I wanted to review it for you to see if it's worth it. Now, granted, this is only in the US, so I'm sorry folks outside of the US who are looking at this device. I don't know what the comparable device is gonna be for your area. Opening this up, here is all your sales aids if you guys want to pause and look at that. Here are more of the specs here of the device. Here we are. Pulling out of the box. Here are all your sales aids and everything else. And then here's the package itself. It seems like this thing itself could just be, oh, and I dropped everything. Now that we fixed that, let's go ahead and uh, open up this second compartment for the actual device itself. Now this does not have the back on, nor does it have the battery on. As you can see, here it is. Uh, this comes with a SIM card already installed. This is the 16 gigabyte storage. It's a 5.5 5 .5 HD plus display with 1.4 gigahertz octa-core processor, including a 3000 milliamp battery, 13 megapixel rear camera with LED flash and a five megapixel front facing camera with flash as well. It does support up to 256 gigabyte micro SD slot, which is awesome. It's got two gigs of RAM, and then obviously what we talked about, 4G LTE. It says unlimited talk text data plans start as low as $25. The case has the Motorola insignia icon on it, and you're just gonna snap it clam shut. Very plastic. Very straightforward. There's your device. For the iPhone, this is what you're be gonna be getting for the Pro Max. It's not in here, I've already unboxed, but but you basically get a bunch of car cardboard and, and a uh, Thunderbolt to USB-C that no one's gonna use. But the phone's nice, and um, we save the planet, great. The Motorola Moto 6E versus the iPhone 12 Pro Max. $20 phone starting at like $1,100. I ended up paying $1,300 because I got higher storage. This phone is a 5.5 inch display diagonally. This is a 6.9 or 6.6, .6, I don't know. All plastic build with a plastic screen all aluminum build and glass with ceramic screen. This is a 5G enabled phone. This is a 4G LTE enabled. Face unlock, this has a button and passcode unlock. This has like 200 nits of brightness. This has like double that, 400 or more. UHD HDR screen, this is a 720p screen. Front-facing camera, this is a five megapixel front-facing camera 
This is a 12 megapixel front facing camera. Rear facing camera, there's three cameras. Tele wide, ultra wide. There's a single wide camera that is I believe a 12 megapixel or 16 megapixel. This has a speaker grill on the front and on the bottom of the iPhone with a, a lightning bolt cable. The E6 has a micro USB. This does not have a headphone jack. This has a headphone jack. This does not have external storage. This has up to 256 external storage. The iPhone is slick. It's quick. It's bright. And it gets your job done. You have all of the games and apps in the app store. Sometimes it takes two hands to control. This is iOS 14. It's got the a14 chip this uses stock android with a few moto motorola apps i've gone ahead and disabled all of them you have all of the google stock apps that are there then a myriad of games and other apps that you have access to from the play store you've got on-screen buttons for multitasking home and back it's very slow it takes a while to load apps, to scroll, to buffer. There's no dedicated gallery app. You have to go through Google Files to look at your pictures. They have a few apps that you can tell are advertisements that I ended up deleting like Wish and other apps. This is an all around really good phone for 20 bucks. Integrated Google Assistant. It does go into full screen mode. The aspect ratio is 18 by nine, not 16 by nine. It is taking forever to load. This is what you'll get for a $20 phone. By the time this loads, I'll probably be able to download it on the iPhone. Whoops, that was Genshin Impact. Oh, the $20 phone's gonna win. Yep, $20 phone's gonna win. Oh, it stopped at the end. Who's gonna be first? It's still generating, I'm halfway done on the iPhone. Oh, Minecraft's done on iPhone. <laughs> wow, check that out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Am I going to beat it? <laughs> my iPhone beat it. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe that. that. And it's still loading while I'm playing. Here we go. Okay. I bet I can make a house by the time it loads. There it is. Oh, welcome. Yes, we did it. All right, let's see how this plays on a $20 phone. Okay, whoa, I'm actually really impressed. It plays decently well. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't join any servers and play like mad PVP. I mean, look at that lag on the blocks. Check it out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's basically the difference between the two. <laughs> you got a $20 phone versus a $1,300, $1,400 phone. Let's go ahead and show you guys the cameras themselves and the pictures uh, and see what you guys are getting yourself into. I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. Ponyos, we are here at my parents' house. Uh, we're going to play some goofy games and have some fun. And I'm also going to show you what it's like on a $1,000 phone compared to a $20 phone. And what the difference is in the cameras. Both are going to be shooting at the highest resolution they can at 30 frames a second. I don't want to deal with 60 frames on the iPhone. Nonetheless, let's have some fun. I mean, that's abomination where I've got the phones stacked on each other, so it's not the perfect, but 
it, it looks all right. This is a shot of me walking. You're getting the optical image stabilization from the iPhone. It's not perfect, but it's way better than what's above. You're also getting a lot more low light. Okay, let's see it. The color technology is different. It's a lot more pink and purple on no, the mobile know. phone. On the iPhone, it's actually a little more green. Titi, what are you doing? He's trying to get something. Yes, you see. Yes, you see. We're going to zoom in 2x. There's a two egg zoom. There's my beautiful wife. I'm gonna zoom in as far as I can. There's seven X. Four X. Four X zoom versus seven X zoom. There's no stabilization. Very poor colors. This is a bad idea, Mom. Oh, Evie, you're gonna hurt yourself. Mom, you're gonna get a headache. I'm gonna shoot into the sun. Oh no, what are you doing? Everything on my whole body. He's going up and down. Yeah, stop, that's stop, 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 stop. We don't hear a thing. Is it, is it feel weird with the gallbladder gone? I know, my gallbladder's done. Something's missing. Something's missing. Oh, oh Eleanor wants to come up, Dada. Help me. She's holding on to me too tight. Oh, is it hurting me? What? Oh, oh, I see what you were playing. That's what I did. I got a chip on. And he hooked. Tramp oh, burns her. Say hi. Yeah, Tootsie. Woohoo. Jim. Jim. Whoa, not too hard. Oh, she looks good in my feet. Like, what? Hello. Oh, Hold on. Don't move. Don't move. It's the blink. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some low light. What? It's a lot of colors that are blown out. <clears throat> okay, autofocus. Okay, let's try the autofocus again. I don't think that is quite in focus. Autofocus. It's still not in focus on the moto. I don't think it can focus. I mean, it's like, it's immediate on the iPhone. Go TT. Yeah. Bye TT. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. The colors are distinctly different here on the front facing camera. You've got a lot of just poor contrast on the moto. On the on the iPhone it looks really good. Completely different temperature science, color science, photography science.
You tell me which one's better. So, Ponyos, uh, just some initial thoughts on this. The, the color science is way off. The focus is way off. The low light is way off. But it's $20. So, I don't, I don't know if I can really argue these points. I mean, the camera's really cropped in. There's a lot, there's a lot of compression if you zoom in. And there's also a lot of saturation just to make it look pretty. There's no image stabilization. And I still keep thinking it's only $20. The autofocus is not bad. But, hey, if I am a teenager and I'm needing a phone that's dirt cheap and I just want to connect to the Wi-Fi, 20 bucks, that is not a bad deal. Anyway, those are my initial thoughts. All right, I'm gonna go through the photos pretty quickly here. You can see that the Pro Max is on the left, Moto is on the right. You can see that the resolution is a little bit bigger, but man, the Pro Max looks so much better. The color science is there, for computational photography. You've got way more depth of field, so much more richness in color. You're not getting haze, you're not getting compression. It is just a pretty picture on the Pro Max. On the Moto E6, it uses this weird HDR technology that really kind of muddies all the colors together. And it gives you a lot of that motion blur, which isn't what you're looking for when you're shooting kids. The portrait mode is incredible. I zoomed in on the wide all the way up to eight on the telly and on the wide and you just get way more colors on that mountain i moved all the way up to 12x on the telly this is low light situation you're getting way more depth a lot more richness in the darks and the lights here you're actually getting some bokeh when i'm zoomed in on that tree and this is the most revealing of it all the iphone depth of field is amazing front facing camera is way better they muddy it all, and the resolution's garbage on the Moto 6. Here's some landscapes. You don't even have any of the colors of the mountain. <laughs> now this is the best. That rig is so gross. I cobbled together a few things, and that's what I ended up with. Pongios, well that's it. Hopefully that was a good breakdown for you guys and help you decide which phone to get. But honestly, I am really, really impressed with this Motorola Moto E6. It was really just a buy on a whim. I saw it was on sale and it's still on sale during this whole holiday season. So check down below in the description down below for the link to all of these products and all of the things that I used, especially that rig. That rig was an abomination. It was really hard to shoot with it. Nonetheless, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button hit the subscribe button and the bells this is what i do during the holiday season i uh, review product check all my other videos for some of the other things that you might like i recently moved from android to ios and i made a video about it obviously i bought the gopro hero 9 i got that fisheye lens with it. it a lot of cool stuff has been going on on the channel so check it out thanks so much for the support andy with any vlogs signing out